What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is a series where I cover all the lines of sight, wall runs, as well as any other secret spots that I know of on every map in Infinite Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the last of the Sabotage DLC maps, and that is Noir. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so hopping into Noir, this is one of those maps that doesn't leave too much to the imagination. There aren't a lot of really interesting, unique spots that aren't super obvious at first glance. So I've got a couple for you today, but it's not going to be a really detailed episode. First up, over in this area here, if you want to get a line of sight on the people that are coming up the stairwell right there, first off, you can capture the B flag and look over top like this, and that gives you like somewhat decent cover to challenge them, but I mean, you're still exposing a bit of yourself. If you come all the way back here though, and you jump up on top of this light right here, this little sphere, you might be able to pick them off as they come up the stairs, depending on which side of the wall they hug. If they come up towards the middle of the stairs, you'll get a clear sight line of their head, their shoulders, and you'll be able to pick them off with a sniper rifle, or maybe an assault rifle if they're not coming through there super quickly. But if they hug the left wall over there, you won't quite see them, or you might just catch a glimpse of their head. But it's great for like search and destroy if you're in a 1v1 and you think they might be down here and they're coming up this way, you might be able to pick them off. Quite a situational spot, but it does work. Now getting over to this side of the map right here, a lot of times you got guys that camp on the top of the stairs up there and they'll lock down this whole area right here. They'll be pre-aiming all these pieces of cover and it's kind of difficult to take them out of that spot sometimes. You could go for the wall run, but sometimes they're just, they're really good at snapping on a target. What you can do if you want to take them out, if you've gotten a ballistic weapon, you can jump up on this area right here and then just jump up and spray right through there. It might not look like you can shoot through there, but you can and... Oftentimes you'll take those guys by surprise and they'll have no idea what hit them. Now getting back over towards the C flag here, this is another one of those spots that's really situational. You can actually look and shoot through this crack right here. If you expect enemies might be coming around there, maybe you hear their footsteps as you're coming through this area, you might be able to just fire a few shots through there and pick them off before they cross that little line of sight. And it does kind of work the other way as well. If you've got a guy that's maybe just camping on this piece of cover, which doesn't happen too often, but if it does happen and you're over in this area here and maybe you can see him on the minimap or something, it's really easy to take him out. You can just come and shoot through this crack just like that. Now this one's pretty straightforward, but this sign right here, I don't see a lot of people using this as cover, but it offers excellent cover if you jump up on top of like the wheel area right here. You can look over top this way and from this direction, you can look over top that way. And this also holds true with this sign over here. I don't see too many people using this when it offers excellent cover. It's a great head glitch. You can pick people off to come around this corner or people that are up in that area there. I've seen far too many people just try and challenge people like that out in the open. And there's no need for that at all. And it does work this way as well. Now over here, fairly obvious to most, but you can wall run on the back side of this billboard as well as on the inside. I don't see too many people wall running on the outside like that. And it just offers you that little bit more cover as you go from this area to over there. Now getting towards the middle of the map here, we all know these windows, that one there and this one up here are extremely common for people to go to. There's almost always somebody in those windows, so you can actually use these as jump spots right here to check to see if somebody's there and you might be able to pick somebody off there if you're fast enough or if you've got a sniper rifle or something like that. It does work both ways, you just have to kind of work your way around these trees. This one's a little bit difficult from this side to get a good line of sight through the trees. If you've got a thermal sight, that'd be really helpful. But as long as you move around a little bit and find that sweet spot, you'll be able to check those windows and potentially pick those people off without them knowing what hit them. Now, one last thing I wanted to point out that you can do if you're in this pharmacy area right in here, you can actually jump on top of these doorways right here. It doesn't look like you can jump on this one, but you absolutely can. And you can also jump on top of the other one over here. Very straightforward and simple. I actually got caught by a camper chilling up in that corner there. So just be aware of the people that are camping up there. And uh, yeah, hopefully they won't take you off guard like they took me off guard that one time. So there we have it. Unfortunately, that's all of the spots that I have for you guys on this map. Like I said at the beginning, doesn't leave too much in the imagination. This isn't me being lazy or anything. It's just one of those maps that's pretty simple and straightforward. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.